Hello YouTube, my name is Tyler and this is my March wrap up. If you're new to my channel, I vlog weekly where I talk about all the books I read in a month um, as I read them. So my detailed reviews of these books uh, that I mentioned will be in their uh, respective reading blogs. So let's get into what I read this month. I will tell you I read 14 books this month and they were The Bunker Diary by Kevin Brooks, which I gave one star, uh, Moon of the Crested Snow by Wab Gishig Rice, four stars, Hellbent by Lee Wardugo, one star, The Poppy War by R.F. Kuang, five stars, Severance, The Lexington Letter by Anonymous, three stars, The Body is Not an Apology, The Power of Radical Self-Love by Sonia Renee Taylor, three stars, Tread of Angels by Rebecca Roanhorse, three stars. The Adventure Zone, The Eleventh Hour by the McElroys and Carrie Pitch, Pitch, four stars. Passing by Nella Larson, three stars. Junk Science in the American Criminal Justice System by M. Chris Fabricant, four stars. Friday Book One, The First Day of Christmas by Ed Burbacker, Marcos Martin, and Munsta Vincenti four stars friday book two on a cold winter's night by the same people four stars the metamorphosis by franz kafka four stars and our prisons obsolete by angela y davis five stars so those were the 14 books i read uh let's get into some of the stats so of those 14 books i read 10 came from the library and then I had two library DNFs. Um, seven of those books were audiobooks, so half of them were audiobooks this month, which is interesting. Uh, I DNF'd four books, um, and my TBR books, I read nine books off my Goodreads TBR shelf, and I read or DNF'd two physical TBR books that I owned. So my other TBR stats were, um, I went from 123 books on my Goodreads TBR shelf to 114. Part of that is, I, I just read a bunch of stuff off my TBR shelf. Um, this month was the largest month of TBR books that I've read. Um, but also today is the end of the quarter. So um, I sat down and I went through my Goodreads TBR shelf and cleared out stuff that no longer sounded interesting to me. So that really cut down on the TBR as well. Um, and I went from 16 physical TBR books to 15. However, I am currently working on reading two of the physical TBR books that I own, which are um, Impossible Community and Slow Gnome Woods 9. So I'm currently reading those and will be carrying those over into April. Um, so, you know, it's actually kind of like 13 books right now. Um, so, yeah. Um, and I did manage to read uh, two books by Indigenous authors this month. So I did finally manage to get get a check mark for my BIPOC goal. So uh, for my ratings, I listed them, but in a more condensed fashion. I had two one-star reads, no two-star reads, uh, four three-star reads, six four-star reads, and two five-star reads. Uh, <laughs> that's three months in a row I've read two five-star books in a month. That's very interesting to me. And so that averages out to a 3.4 star for this month. Uh, that checks out. It's a little bit lower than the two previous months. Um, January was a rounded up three and a half. February is three and a half on the nose, which I said definitely felt like a better month than January. Um, and this one was a 3.4, no rounding. Um, and it definitely feels like it was the harder reading month for me this year. Um, so that makes sense to me. Uh, and then the other average rating is um, it took me 3.8 days to read a book, you know, so rounded up to four days, um, which tracks. <laughs> Next month will be interesting because I am reading three books that are taking a while. Uh, I started The Impossible Community on March 2nd, um, and I am probably going to be reading it 
honestly, I might finish it in May <laughs> if like it, if things go well, I will finish it in May. So that's really going to throw off some weird stats, whatever month I end up finishing that. Um, Slonum Woods 9 I've been working on since the 21st and Dragon Empire I've been working on since the 24th. Um, so those books, which I expect I will finish in April, are definitely going to throw off <laughs> those stats a little bit. Um, so yeah, uh, so I have been reading stuff for a very long time this month, but it's not going to show up until next month's stats. Um, so those are those stats. Uh, and then I check in on the unread shelf challenge I am doing. The month of March was enough. Um, I talked about how I wasn't sure what <laughs> I was going to use for this challenge, this prompt in my February wrap up. Uh, however, after I recorded that, the unread shelf like newsletter came out and talked about what they meant by enough. And it was more so in like, any reading you do is enough. Like, you don't need to be reading the things that other people are reading, or you don't need to be reading as quickly as other people are reading. Like, whatever you're doing, it's enough. Um, so that really put some stuff into perspective for me. So I used two books for this. Um, originally, I wrote down The Poppy War, even though it was not on either of my TBRs, but I really took my time with it. It took me eight days to read it. Um, it was like really the only thing I was working on that week. Um, I finished nothing else <laughs> in the time that I was reading The Poppy War, really. Um, and so that felt like it was achieving the prompt, the challenge. Uh, but I also included The Body Is Not An Apology, which I did put on my Goodreads TBR uh, shelf, but like then immediately read it. So it's like kind of iffy <laughs> on that front. Um, because this was about self-love and your body being enough and you don't need to change yourself. You are enough. So that felt like it achieved that goal in my book. So that was my enough, uh, my March enough prompt. April is delight, which is interesting. Um, I actually forgot to check my Goodreads shelf for something that fit that. Um, but I'm not seeing anything like specifically on my physical TBR shelf right this second. Um, but I feel like I'll know a delight when I read it. <laughs> I did end up putting all the other Poppy War books on my TBR shelf, so it's very possible that The Dragon Republic might fit delight. Um, I had a lot of fun reading the first book, so like that's possible <laughs> it could fit the delight uh, prompt, but I'm not sure yet. Uh, that one I feel like is going to be a very uh, mood dependent, will probably be like whatever five star read I read in April. Which brings me to my favorite and least favorite reads this month. Um, I had two five stars and they're very different and so I'm gonna make both of them my favorite book this month. The Poppy War um, by R.F. Kuang, five stars. I've never read anything like it before. I can't believe I loved it as much as I did. Um, you know, fantasy, war, <laughs> flame powers from the gods. Um, very cool, had so much fun, loved it. Uh, and then the other one I gave five stars were was Our Prisons Obsolete by Angela Y. Davis. Um, just very important read. It was so easy to listen to and understand the arguments she was putting forward about why prisons are unethical and why they should be abolished and what we should be replacing them with. My battery is about to die. Give me a second. Okay, I definitely thought I was going to beat the battery dying, but apparently not. Uh, so those are my two favorite reads this month. Um, I had a couple one star reads this month. Um, let's see what sticks out to me as my least favorite read this month. Um, uh, I think I have to say Hellbent was unfortunately my least favorite read this month. Um, I think it's my least favorite just because it was such a disappointment to <laughs> To me personally. I was actually very excited about it because I had enjoyed Ninth House um, and it just became something very different than I 
wanted or liked. Uh, whereas The Bunker Diary, which was also one star, um, I think I was just the wrong audience for it and I was expecting something different. Um, it ended up being like a young YA type book um, and I just like wasn't the audience for it. Um, Kat, can you do something else? So yeah, I just like wasn't the audience for this particular book. So I think that means I have to say Hellbent was my least favorite because that one actually annoyed me and irritated me and I considered DNFing it even though um, I had been looking forward to reading it. Um, so yeah, that is my March wrap up. Um, I will see y'all next week. Bye.